We're back. Secondary voices coming from the back there. Hello. Towing a few extra people today. We're doing some trout fishing out in the mountains and uh, you might see Olaf at some point. Anyways, I'm sure you'll see him later. I'm just gonna put on this little Lucky Craft here to start off. It's a little bit big. Trout in here aren't that big. Might tie in a little spinner or something. I'm sure those will work, but we'll start off with this. Ever since I left the marine, I've been marking fish on the fish finder, so. The fish are there. All right, let's cast the back. This shouldn't take long. I probably don't even need to put it on the, on the uh, downrigger, but I'll do it anyways, just because I like it and I brought it. All right. Oh, you know what? There's a fish on here already. I haven't even put it on the downrigger yet. Literally 15 seconds in. Oh, it's a bass. Little smallmouth bass. All right, first fish. Quick release. Back up to speed. Put this down. We got that on the the down rear. You know, let's just put it here. That popped off the downrigger. You'll see it. And then obviously, fish on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish on. <laughs> you want to hand line it in? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, go for it. Why not? Right there in front of you. In front of you. In front of you. Try not to pull it too hard because the line's not that strong. So if it pulls, you can just let it go. It's on there. Having my assistant pull it up this time. Okay, don't don't pull it too hard if it's the line is loose, the, or the line is light. Did it come off? No, it's still there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's coming up. Is it a trout or a bat? Let That's it go. A trout. It's a trout. Oh, it is a trout. Nice. <laughs> wait, wait. I wanted to pick it up for the camera. Okay. There it is. Oh, look, you see it. Can they see it? Yeah, you can see it. What do you think, First trout. Are we keeping this one? Oh, too late. It just came off. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's number two. We officially caught a trout now. A trout and a bass. That one was down about 30 feet, so I think the trout are probably a little bit deeper than the bass are. Which is why I brought this down right here. Right here. You'll see. So if you watch this and it ever goes, oh, that's a fish. Oh, oh, it's going. Excuse me. Yeah. Nah, we'll let it go. There we go. Elizabeth dragged me over here, so you can blame her. Oh, hold on. Let me just take care of this really quick. It's already almost there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that all the way? That almost jumped in the sea or thing.
Bravo! Bravo! It's a little bit of mayhem. He's a little guy. A little trout. Now we can take care of the other one. Yeah, you want me to take care of it? fill of rainbows so now we're going to try to catch a kokanee and the only two bait that I've ever caught a kokanee on spinner like this this is actually the most recent thing that I caught a kokanee on there's definitely a few out here but I'm not sure how many so it might be a long shot but we'll at least try it we'll do a little round here so I'll drop the spinner down on this side a little one ounce weight to try and get it down a little bit deeper and then on this side I'll do the real the real kokanee setup which is a dodger with a little hoochie behind it and then a little piece of corn attached to that hoochie so this is a dodger with a little hoochie behind it it's a little pink hoochie and then you can see i attached a couple pieces of corn on there and this is like the standard if you were want to target kokanee this is probably the best way to do it so i don't know if you're going to be able to see it but in the water that dodger swings back and forth so it kind of moves that hoochie back and forth back and forth and then I don't really know what it is with the corn, but for some reason, Pokemon like corn. So on the downriver, we'll probably try it around 30 feet or so, and then move it accordingly. Oh, oh, oh! There it is. On the drop. You got it? Yeah, got it. A I don't know. Whatever it was, bit it on the way down here. Let me get the net ready. Might actually. Might actually keep this one. I catch kokanee, we'll take it home and eat it. Sit. We're out here camping. And in my opinion, kokanee are a little bit better eating than, than your standard rainbow. Oh no, it's just a rainbow. All right, well, not a kokanee, but obviously the rainbows like the hoochies too, apparently. Well, that's good news. That means we won't just be doing nothing while we're fishing for kokanee. Ouch. Let himself off. Not a kokanee, but we'll keep trying. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's kokanee. A really small one. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, we'll let this one go. Maybe we can find one a little bit bigger. Let's like try to find one bigger. If we get one that's decent size, we'll let this take it home to eat. Alright, we'll keep this going right on. I gotta use my net. Sorry, dude. Oh, 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 oh.
All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for today. Another fun day out here on the lake in the fresh water. Pretty much nonstop action from when we dropped the kayak in all the way to when we're putting out here at the end of the afternoon. Fun day out here, we caught one bass right off the bat and then, I don't know, 15, 16, 17, 20, I don't really know how many trout we caught. And then I think three, well two kokanee and one more that might have popped off next to it. I don't know how many made it to the film, because there was so many fish, I probably cut a few out, but anyways, fun day out here. Most of the fish in the morning on that little jerk bait, and then most of the fish in the afternoon were on the hoochie and dodger setup, which like I said earlier, this normally a kokanee fishing setup, but it seems like stock trout will probably eat just about anything. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.